Hello friends and welcome to another unboxing and assembly video. Checking out this Yahoo Tech uh, queen size, no tools required installation uh, bed frame here. Oh my goodness, these are like giant zip ties holding this thing on here. Uh. Okay, getting them though. Good golly. Okay. A lot of them. Make sure you got some scissors or something for this. I think I might have got them all. Okay, here we go. Packaging here, it looks like. Didn't get that one. Uh, got it. There's one there, too. Got it. All right, we got one piece freed up here. Oh yeah, that was really loud. That was super loud. Sorry about that, my friends. I think I'll regain my hearing sometime next week. I'll set this one down so I don't go deaf. There we are. All right, how many more of these do we have? Looks like we got another one there to cut. Okay. That might be it for those. These are all nicely wrapped up. Oh, what's the problem here? Oh. Got my foam on there a little bit, okay. All right, so this is interesting. I've never put together a frame before that has no tools required or no screws or anything like that. So it should be pretty interesting. Definitely like that idea. Now this one also don't need a bed, a mattress um, box spring or anything like that for this one too. So, so these are nice, appear to be like powder coated, super heavy duty, uh, solid pieces of metal here. This one here, they're all wrapped individually. Number eight. Set those there. Okay. Might take longer to unbox this than to build it. I wonder if I should try, try to build it without looking at the instructions. I wonder if we could do that. How hard, how hard could it be, right? Yeah. Okay, that looks like that's about it. So we do have some little baggies here. Looks like they have some little, um, 
just gonna clear our box out of the way real quick. And we'll get started on this assembly. All right, my friends. Here we go. Got my uh, instructions right here. Open those up. So these guys, they're just little push-in plastic uh, things. So here we go. Take the carton, throw it away. Number one is that we have one. So we get number one. Okay, there's number one. And we're gonna put a two and three. So we need a three and a two. So there's one. And I'm just gonna put it like this, showing it here. So there's one there. And then two's gonna go just in there. And then three is, let's see here, three. I think I want it that way before I put it in all the way. I'm just gonna make sure it's difficult to tell. I think the three is headed that direction now. Okay, so that's looking good. And then we need another one, two, and three. So off the one we had, oh, we have three number twos. All right, so here we go. We need a one. All right, so I'm just gonna place it like they have it. So it's pretty much like this. Okay. And then we have another, so, I want two, three, that first one, it looks like I got it facing the correct direction. This one's here, the L shape. And we have, oh, uh, perhaps not. Okay, that's why I didn't push it down yet. So probably like that. Okay, that looks better. Just because I had the orientation a little bit different than the other one. Okay, so now coming off of that one, we'll have a two with a three and a two and a one. So, three, so here's my two. Just have these face this way. So coming off of there, two, and then three. There we go. So we got a two, three, And then we have two, two, right? Okay, so I wanna turn. That's the way it's gonna go in there like that. Just push down in there.
So we're gonna go two twos. Dun dun dun. Coming together. I like that we don't have any screws. It's pretty nice. So if you had this all laid out, I'm sure the installation would be within. Now, as far as getting these down in there, how far do we want to push down? Do I like tap them down or is that how we're doing this? Let's see. Okay, so we have that and then we just have the middle ones here. So five, five, and four. There we go, five, five. Sorry, sorry about that, my friends. This is super loud. Okay, it's five, five. And then probably cross beams. Oh, the sixes. So we got four sixes. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 and boom. All right, pretty much done. We just put those things in there. Okay, so it says rubber mallet. Then just tap those in there. So that's about it. I mean, after installation, reinforced joints with the rubber mallet as shown in the picture. So just want to kind of hammer them, hammer them down in there. With a rubber mallet, just kind of tap these into place. <coughs> Call it good with that, right? down portion. And just install these just like that. Pretty easy. Probably the easiest installation I've done in a long time. And I'm sure if I knew the layout, I could do this in under five minutes, especially with a little bit of practice. So now that I know how it goes together, no problem. To uninstall would probably be a breeze as well. I think we just tap these in the opposite direction or whatever. And there we have it right there. So if you want to, that is solid though. Yeah, that's a pretty solid bed here. Down, down, down. So yeah, it doesn't really like shaky or anything. I like how those just fit into place. Um, then if you want, can push these into the uh, 
into the slots there. I'm not sure, not really necessary. I'm not sure what that would do. Maybe hold it from like, if you're lifting it up from, but if you want, you can tap all those into the places there. So eight of those, two, four, six, eight. And then I think that's it. So it gives you eight extras if you need them, but you just press these into the holes if you wanted to, but not really necessary. It's a sturdy, a really sturdy frame there. All right. Well, friends, here we have it. So another nice thing about this bed, it's okay, is it's got, uh, what, 11, 12 inches of clearance underneath here. Right, buddy? So 12 inches of clearance. That gives you a nice, um, a good height on your bed, so it's right at waist level. You can just sit down here and boogie. So also, if you have those uh, storage containers, you can just slide them under there. Lots of room under there, 12 inches. So a lot of storage containers are about that height. You can just slide stuff under the bed and keep it there uh, nice and organized. Uh, this bed is actually, this is like no um, squeaky noise at all. So it's uh, super sturdy. The build is really easy. I think the unboxing part was a little bit more difficult than actually building the bed. And I think now that I know the orientation of the bed and everything, I could easily do put, assemble this in just minutes. Bye, cat. So, yeah. <sighs> Is, uh, now I deserve a rest after putting that together. So, thanks for watching this uh, video, my friends. Looking for a sturdy, easy to assemble bed frame. Look no further. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.